first will be coming from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 9, verses 15. 2 Corinthians 9 and 15. And then our second verse this morning is a very familiar scripture, John 3, 16. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15 simply says, Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Yeah. Thanks be unto God yes. for his unspeakable gift. Mm -hmm. If you allow me this morning, I, I just want to use as a subject God's unspeakable gift. Yeah. If, we, if, we, if we read through that uh, ninth uh, chapter of 2 Corinthians, we would find that, that, that Paul is, 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 is talking about uh, the, the funds that are being raised uh, for, for, for uh, poor saints uh, in Jerusalem. Yes, sir. And, 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 and he's saying that, that, that they are coming to Macedonia to, to, to get those funds. And, and, and even though you told us that you read it, uh, I, 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 I'm telling you now that they're coming, and I'm giving you a little more chance that, that if you're not ready, that you can be ready when they get here. Uh -huh. And then he says that, 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 that he, he changes the subject. And at the end of this, after he talks about uh, the gifts and, and, and those who are coming to collect it, he says, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost like saying that, 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 that nothing that we can give that we can't beat God Give. That's right. Huh? You know, that, 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 that it, it doesn't matter what we give, uh, uh, it doesn't matter what we do. God has done more, and, and, and God has given more. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and so he says, thanks God, thank God mm -hmm. for his unspeakable gift. Yes. Now the question in my mind was, what is this unspeakable gift? So then I, I went to John 3.16. In it, John says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. All right. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting <coughs> life. Yes. But, 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 but again, it, you know, what is this gift? Is it God's love for the world? Is this gift God's Son, Jesus? Or, or was the gift the gift of eternal life? You know, I, I thought about Sunday school this morning when, when, when we were trying to understand uh, uh, about this fruit that was for the healing of the nation. Mm -hmm. And we decided to table that. <laughs> And we said we'll understand it better by and by. That's right. There are a lot of things in, in the Bible that are not in and of themselves clear. Things that we'll understand better by and by. You, you know, so, so again, even when we speak of this unspeakable gift, we may not ever know or we may not ever agree on the answer. But, but, but this we know. We know that, that if we accept Christ as the Lord of our life, that God has promised us 
eternal life. Yes. And then if we refuse him, John says that, 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 that those who do not believe in Christ, he said, will perish. Mm -hmm. So we have a choice. We can accept the gift, mm -hmm. this unspeakable gift that, 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 that Paul is talking about. We can, we can accept it and live. We can reject it. Reject it and perish. Yeah. Choice is ours. I individually. You know, Mama raises us, she takes us to church, she teaches us all about the love of Jesus, but, but, but she can't make that final decision for us. Uh -huh. right. You know, we get, we, get, we get married sometime. Wife loved the Lord. Husband loved the world. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our, our wives or our husband can't make that decision for us. This is a choice that, that, that we have to make, and we have to make it for ourselves. Yes. Uh -huh. We have to make up our own mind as to whether or not we're going to accept Christ as the Lord of our life and live. We refuse him and perish. You know, we live, we live, we live in a time when when when, when, when people don't like uh, to hear about the judgment that's coming. They, 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 they just rather listen to, to, to nice, sweet, eloquent sermons of, of love yes. and the goodness of God. Uh -huh. But, 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 but I'll tell you this morning that we've got to understand that it's because of God's love for us that, that, that he warns us in, in the Bible of the dreadful consequences of refusing his unspeakable or his priceless gift. The acceptance of which will, will, will save us from, from the unspeakable misery that is sure to come. One, one, one writer said, both in time and in eternity. Mm -hmm. Many of us take great pleasure. My, my wife is one. I've never known a person that, that gives as much as she gives. Everybody else called me stingy. <laughs> <laughs> Another church that we used to attend, they called me Bishop Dudley. He always had a uh, squad. You know, I mean, he had a very stiff face. But again, I mean, many of us take take pleasure in, in giving gifts during special days of the year, while others uh, find it only a measure of delight in giving. That's what my wife says about me. <laughs> very difficult for you to get, Steve. But, 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 but it really doesn't matter uh, what position, uh, what our position is on giving. Uh, we all have one thing in common, and that is we all like to be on the receiving end. Right? <laughs> but, 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 but when you look at it, I suggest this morning that, 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 that those that are really blessed for those who hold on to the Bible's perspective, and that is that it's more blessed to give than to receive. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we, can, we, can, we can learn something from that. It is more blessed to give than to receive. And, 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 and I've come to believe that the happiest people are not those who have received the most, but those who have given the most. Particularly if their gifts have been given to those in need, to those who who have less, and 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 and, and, and if what was given was given to to minister to the needs of others, to to brighten the smile on some child's face, to to, to cheer up the weary in in, in in these uncertain times, it's a beautiful thing to give gifts for, for, for causes such as these. If you, if you, if, if, if you think about it, the, the, the giving of gifts is, is one of the byproducts of Christianity. I mean, wasn't it, wasn't it Jesus himself who taught us a lesson when he said that it is more blessed to give than to receive? When, when, when the gifts are given in his name and for his sake. 
I don't know about you this, this, this morning, saints, but, but I thank God this morning for his unspeakable gift. Yes, I yes. am. You, you remember in John 4 and 10, while addressing the, 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 the poor woman at, at the well, Jesus told her that, 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 that if thou knowest the gift of God and who it is that, that saith to thee, give me to drink. If I would have asked him, then he would have given thee living water. Yes, yes. The question this morning is, is who is the giver? Hmm. And I, I believe that when Paul wrote this, that, 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 that he was speaking that God is the giver. Right. And, 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 and church, we need to get it clear in our mind that what God gives, he gives free. Right? Well, what God gives, He gives freely. Right. God is God. God is not a flim flam man, and then and neither is He a seller of snake oil. Mm. Every every everything already belongs to Him. Amen. We're just stewards. The Bible says over the things that we have just for a little while. A lot of people look at God, look at God as though He is one of those door-to-door -door salesmen. They, 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 they say, "Well, you know, I, 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 I don't like Him because He's always trying to sell me something." Mm. They think that, that that He goes around offering salvation to people if they're rich enough or wealthy enough or have enough money to pay for. Mm -hmm. and, and after all, life has taught us that nothing in life is what. Nothing in life is free. But, but I'm glad this morning that salvation is not for sale. Oh, Amen. I, mean, I mean, aren't you glad that, 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 that salvation is free? Amen. For, for, for God had where to put a price on it that was commensurate with its value. None of us would be able to purchase it. Amen. And we all would be lost. Amen. Parable in the 13th chapter of Matthew is, 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 is one that that we so often get mixed up. In it, the Bible says that a merchant man came seeking a goodly pearl. And, 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 and when he found a pearl of great value, that he went and he sold all that he had and he bought. Now in our effort to in, in, in interpret that parable, most of us see the merchant man as a sinner and the pearl as, as God's salvation. We forget that, 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 that salvation is free right. and that the pearl had to be purchased. Uh -huh. And then this being so, our, our interpretation is, is contrary to what the Bible says. For if we had nothing with which to buy God's salvation, then the, the real meaning of the parable is that it was our Lord Jesus Christ who came from heaven as the merchantman. With, with infinite riches at his disposal. And here in this poor, dark world, Jesus found a pearl of great price, yes. which is here and was in the valley of dry bones. Mm -hmm. That vast group of men and women who were stuck and mired down in sin and in iniquity but by the grace of God had already been predestined to be the body and the bride of the Lamb. And Jesus, having looked upon our condition, went and sold all that he had and redeemed us back. Yes. Someone asked the question, well, where, well, where was the purchase made? And one writer said that it was made at Calvary's cross. Uh -huh. It was on the cross that he gave all that he had. It was there on the cross that he shed his precious blood and laid down his life that he might purchase the pearl which is to adorn his crown forever in eternity. Saints, God is a giver. He's, he's not a seller. Take all the great blessings in life that we enjoy and we get them freely from God. You want to you wanna go to a beach? Go go to a beach. The sand, the, the, the ocean, it's, God created it all. Uh -huh. and, 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 it's, and it's free. 
you can't buy fresh air. I, 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 I guess if man could ever bottle it, he would sell it too. You know what I mean? You, 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 you can't or you shouldn't have to buy water. God made it and, 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 he, and, and he gives it to us freely. All the blessings that he lavishes upon men are without money and without price. And, 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 and the great gift spoken of here, salvation, was the greatest expression of his infinite love. I don't know about you, but again, I'm, I'm thankful that for God for his unspeakable gift. Yes. In our scripture today, the word unspeakable literally means something that is not yet fully expounded mm -hmm. or something that is not yet fully understood. In other words, thanks be to God, for he has not yet fully expounded or fully understood, or we haven't yet fully understood the gift that he has given us. In other words, it, it, it tells me that though we don't understand it now, that we'll understand it better by and by. Yes. 